And what is going on everybody? I'm Sigurdi Dozdi here and today we're playing some more Pixel Car Racer. This is going to be an all body kits on dot 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 episode with the Toyota Corolla AE86. So let's get right into it. I don't know what the price is for the 86, so this is going to take a second. I can't just like bust through. I have to like actually look out for it. We're doing the hatchback, tr uh, yeah, Truino. Truino? There it is. Hatchback Truino. So let's just name it AE86. Oh, don't tell me that's my neighbor. If you hear a lot of, like, bass in the background, that's just one of my neighbors pulling up. Because they park, like, right underneath my window. And they always have, like, their bass up turned loud. So if you hear that, just ignore it. It's not going to last more than, like, two minutes. So, anyways... Let's get right into it. Actually, give me one second. I'm gonna go. Wait, do I have the paint? Ah, uh, no. Give me a second. I'm gonna go modify this so it looks a little better. I'll be right back. All right, so let's get right into it with the pandem kit. Adds a little bit of a lip to the front. Have I already done this episode? Give me one second. Okay, well, since you're actually watching this video, I have not done this video already. And I, I like the I like the side skirt. No, not side skirt. I like the wide body a little bit. It reminds me of uh, more skids. His, uh, Quentin? I almost said DJ. Quentin's uh, 8.6. Is that my game? Yeah, it's my, that's just CSR Classics. Sorry, my phone's freaking out. Uh... Yeah, it kind of reminds me of his 8.6 wide body kit, but it's inverted. His car is black with a white wide body kit, where mine right here is white with a black one. So, drag kit. Let's get right into it. I still have the Rocket Bunny kit on the CRX. So, before I get. Ooh, actually, that has the pop up headlights. So, let's just take this off the, off the CRX real quick. Even though the main reason why I bought this kit was for the CRX. But, you know, I have this series, so let's get right into it. Why do I keep saying let's get right into it? Okay, so it adds the pop-up headlights. Oh, it always has the headlights up. I'm stupid. Um, yeah, actually. I, was, I would actually expect the headlights to go down in this kit for more aerodynamics. Um, I mean, it's alright, but wide tires in the back, uh, and you have a good drag car, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really liking it, but that's probably the fact that I have an 8.6 as like a, the idea of an 8.6 as like a drift car in my head. That's just what I have. I don't really see 8.6s going down the drag strip real fast. So this is probably, that's probably why I'm not liking this. But it's alright, I guess. It's not nearly as bad as some of the drag kits for the other cars. Okay, what does that look like? It adds a little bit of a lip to it. Boxy wide body kit. It kind of reminds me of like the silhouette cars or like group B. I don't know, it just kind of reminds me of that. It actually reminds me of the wide body kit they used for the Audi Quattro. The Audi Quattro? Audi? Audi? Whatever it is. Kind of reminds me of that. Kind of reminds me of the wide body kit for that. But, anyways. Uh, yeah, I have nothing else to say on that one. Um, you know, I actually like how the front, the front wide body kit, the front of the wide body kit, like, goes along with the door. And, like, at the bottom right there where... It kind of curves in a bit. It follows it instead of just going straight down. It actually like curves with the door. And then the back end, I don't... Eh? I'm not really too big of a fan. Not really. Not at all, actually. If it got closer to the door and followed the door, kind of like the how the front did, it would be a million times better. Not gonna lie. Ooh, I can already tell this one's gonna be terrible. What does that do? Oh, yeah, it's just a side skirt. Skirt, skirt. Alright, the rear bumper is atrocious. The f 
side skirt is all right, and the front end's kind of ricey, but I mean it's livable. I don't know, not really liking it. The rear bumper is like real bad, so if you were to take that off, it would be actually kind of decent. Like that, eh? I can rock that. Uh, yeah, actually that's pretty all right. Let's go right into the tuner kit. This is usually the oh, they changed the tail light. I don't know how I like about that one. Oh, it adds it adds like a wing mirror to it. Adds more of a wide body kit actually. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this one. I was expecting it to be like really really terrible. I kind of don't like the rear tail light being changed. But the rest of the car is actually pretty okay. It's one of those times where like the tuner kit is actually useful and not, you know, stupid looking. Because usually the tuner kit is like the ricey one. That's the one I used in the recreation of Hector Civic from fa uh, the first Fast and Furious. You know, the one that has like hydraulics and stuff and it just goes and it goes straight down. When, they, when he parks it at the big event where uh, Brian loses his clips. I don't know. This usually this kit is usually really bad, so seeing how it's somewhat decent, if not good, in my opinion. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one. BN kit. It adds a little bit of color to the front and drops the lip a bit. Adds a little bit of a lip there. What does it do compared to the tuner kit? Because the tuner kit already has an extension. Oh. I was expecting it to just, you know, change the head, the, the tail light to be normal and just have the same lower end, but, eh, if the rear end came up a tiny bit, kind of like how this one did, if it was like that, this kit would be perfect, but, oh. but it's too straight in the back, I don't know how I like that. Some cars look really good when it's just straight like that and don't look good when it's angled up. But this one, I think it would complement the body lines a bit more. I don't know how I feel about this one. I really don't. But anyways, let's get right into the drag kit. The regular drag kit. So, take off the side skirt. Skirt, skirt. If you were to take this off, it would, it would kind of look like one of those drift cars they build for FD. You know how, like, some of them have the rear bumper kind of cut? It kind of looks like that. But you add that, and it just throws it off. Without the wheelie bar, I think it just looks wrong. And what's the difference between this front end and the regular drag kit? And, like, the drag kit pro? Oh, it changes the, the side marker. Anyways, let's see what this thing looks like with the bar. Actually, isn't too bad. Uh, okay. Why did I try to put a bar on the side? I have no idea. Alright. The bar on the back is actually not too bad. It kind of looks like that one girl from Nemo where, you know, she tries to kill Nemo and she's like, Why are they swimming? You know. I don't know. That's, that's kind of what the back end reminds me of. The front end too, a little bit. I forgot what her name was. I really don't care. I, not enough to Google it. If you know who I'm talking about, you probably don't even know her name. You probably already pictured it. But, anyways, let's get on to the VX lip kit. So, I don't think it has a rear end version, so let's just pull this off real quick. The lip kit, that adds barely anything to it. So, let's first take off the bar kit, and now let's see what the lip kit does. Ooh, it blackens out the, the bottom. I like how that looks. It's subtle, but it's clean. Actually, now that I look at it, I'm kind of on the fence about it now. Nah, I'm just staring at it, looking at it. Eh, I don't know. I mean, I'm, yeah, alright. Sticker bomb kit isn't too bad. Ooh, never mind. It adds a, it adds a side skirt to it. It adds like an extension. I don't like that because it's super uneven from the front to the back. From the front to the side to the back. Like, the front and the back are normal ride height, and then you got the middle just doing its own thing. I don't like how that looks. It's not symmetrical. That's sad. Whatever. 
Excuse me. Delete kit. <laughs> I'm sorry. When, <laughs> when the front bumper came off, it kind of looks like it just has like a wide open mouth with like one tooth in the center. Just like, hey, my name's Cletus. My name is Billy Joe Bobbert Jr. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just looks like it has its mouth wide open. It's just like, hey. Uh, anyways, actually, the rear end isn't too bad. I like how that looks. Yeah. Oh, you know what I really like? I like how the front end aligns with the rear end. Like, where it cuts off, it's like perfectly straight across. Right on the line in the center, the second line in the center, it's like, okay, you have the door handle, then you have one line going across to the, from the bottom of the tail light to the front of the side marker, and you got a second bar going from the cut of the rear bumper all the way to the cut of the front bumper. Uh, actually, you know what I think? I think my, no, stock rear bumper. Rocket Bunny front end, oh, uh, side. If I leave the stock bumper on in the back, this is perfect. I'm just going to leave it like this for the rest of the video. I'm going to race a little bit. Uh, yeah. Let's just go slap some nitrous on it. Let's do no upgrades other than nitrous. And maybe an exhaust. Blast pipes, why not? Brumbos. I'm not doing a 200 shot because I'm going to lose a lot of money from that. Uh, yeah. Alright. So all we got to do. Oh by, oh, by the way, if you're just here for the body kits, it's over. You can you can cut off the video now. Uh, but if you want to see the rest of it, the rest of however long I record, stick around. I really hope you stick around, but you don't have to if you don't want to. It's your choice. What else did I buy? I just bought something else. Brakes. NOS. What else did I just buy? I feel dumb. Brakes. No. Oh, exhaust. Duh. <laughs> Blast pipes. Why not? Actually, that's not too bad. It just looks like it kind of changes the muffler to, you know, from muffler to exhaust pipe. It's actually not that bad. Eh, now that I look at it, it's kind of bad, but the car's going to be minimized in a second anyways. Let's see what this thing does in the quarter mile. With nothing more than just exhaust. Does suspension and rims do anything? I don't know. With just exhaust and nitrous. Let's see what it can do. I'm not going to put it on the dyno just because it's an 8.6. It already didn't come with much horsepower, and all I did was put exhaust on it, and I don't use the nitrous on dyno, so... You know, I think the launch in this car really does need the nitrous, just for the simple fact of it's kind of almost double the power. I think it's actually, you know what, I'm going to go stick it on the dyno real quick. I'm not going to show you the dyno run, but I'm just going to pause it. I'm going to get out of this race, I'm going to pause it. We ran in 11, hey. Alright, I'm going to pause it right here, and I'm going to skip all the way to the end of the dyno run. I'll be right back in 3, 2, 1... Alright, so as you see, we are only making 162 horsepower, so that nitrous is adding a little less than two-thirds of the power. So, once we launch with the nitrous, we're launching at around 262 horsepower. Alright. Let's go take this on a toge, even though it's not a toge, it's just a highway race. But, you know, let's do it in Japan during the day just because night doesn't kind of... This this recording software that I'm using, it's really old and it doesn't like to record, like, the night races in this game. You know, you know what I dislike about this game really much? Ow, 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 that hurt. Ah, my hip just popped when I tried to adjust my leg around my desk. 
But you know what I really don't like about this game? The fact that you can win against anything in this game. Like right now, I'm racing against a I'm racing against a Mustang. And this generation Mustang, even the V6 should be able to walk me with this much horsepower. Even the stock V6 should be able to walk this 162 horsepower 86. Like the other day, I was racing in the I was racing in the RX-7 FB, and it only makes a little bit of horsepower. And I beat an R35 Nismo. So let's do what? Let's do a mile run, and then I'll end the video. I never really do mile runs, but I want to see how long it takes this car to do it. Hopefully, it doesn't take a whole minute. It seems like it might have it might happen. But who knows, this thing uh, just walked a Mustang and uh, did the quarter mile in 11.7 seconds. I 120. 130. Can I reach 160? 140. What is the top speed on this thing? I'll check in a minute. 150. Come on, reach 160. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, 156. I, I want to go see what the top speed of this thing is. It'll say in the in the menu. It took half a minute to do a mile. Top speed is 177 miles per hour. And LS swap. Ah, I'm just kidding. Anyways, I'm in this video here. Aw oh, man, I'm looking at pictures right here on my laptop right next to me, and the 8.6 looks really good in yellow. Hmm, maybe next 8.6 episode. Yeah, maybe next one. Anyways, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you disliked the video, leave a dislike. Tell me down in the comment section why you liked or disliked the video. Talk. Excuse me. Talk to me down in the comment section. Uh, I love giving hearts and thumbs up to positive and all around good. And. I like to give thumbs up and hearts and positive and all around good replies to positive, supportive, and all around good comments. But I'll never react negatively to a negative comment because that's quite mean and I'm all about spreading positivity. If you want positive content, go to my Twitter. It's down in the description. I think it's at the bottom of the description, but it's in the description. Above that, there are two Instagram accounts in the description. Description, 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 huh? Um... Instagram number one is my main for myself for the channel, so if you want to keep up to date with me or the channel, go follow that one. Uh, you're already here. You like cars. Hopefully you like trucks and motorcycles, because I do post trucks sometimes, and right now I'm going to start posting motorcycle stuff, because I'm getting better with motorcycle names and stuff like that. So, you know, go follow that one. You're going to find there. You're gonna find something there you like, and hopefully you like a lot of it. Hit that follow button. Uh, it really does help. Speaking of hitting buttons, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified when I post videos. I post every other day, but not as the time, so that's what you can need the bell icon for. And I hope you liked the video, and thanks for watching.